take a look at downtown hole nine or rather this is a relook and i'll say right up front if you don't bag the windbreak water skip or the windbreak roll rive um, they're both very similar in distance and shape uh, then this video unfortunately is not going to be of any interest to you or help um, of course if you're you know, playing downtown during the worlds and you know you're going to be playing it um, I would recommend you might consider putting one of those two in the bag, uh, but uh, that's up to you, of course. So in multiplayer uh, right now, this hole has a 39% birdie rate, so not great. And my previous approach, uh, personally, I had a, a much higher birdie rate, but you know I'm always looking for more. And the game suggested this disc. Uh, to me uh, always has and last night I thought let's give this a try turns out it works pretty damn good uh, but there you do have to have uh, three different approaches uh, and aim points dependent on the wind so a little complicated so try to follow me here stick with me if it's a one or two wind out of the right I put the top chevron on that light right there and then give it a little bit of Anheuser. If it's uh, any wind out of the left, I just scoot over in front of the basket right there. And then depending on the wind, if it's a three wind, I just come straight back out of the left. And the one off situation is if it's a three tailwind out of the right, then I come all the way over to here and I switch to forehand. Uh, because if you try to throw back in this wind, very good chance it's going to go OB left, uh, fly over the sidewalk curb here. So uh, I think in this wind, you have to go forehand in order to try to keep it in the green. So uh, so that's my approach. Uh, let me see if I can throw a few shots and show it to you in action. Uh, I will say last night... Uh, I ran 14 consecutive birdies. Number 15 went about two feet OB through this gap in the curb back here. You're probably aware of if you played this hole before. Uh, so 14 out of 15 birdies, that was my birdie rate. Uh, and 14 in a row. So convince me to try this uh, going forward uh, in multiplayer. So with this win, we're gonna switch to the forehand, as I said. Top chevron where that window meets that tree canopy. About a half a disc worth of hyzer. And hopefully that comes back in bounds. Caught some cabbage there. So 70 feet though. So that's pretty good. Much safer approach than the back end. All right, a one wind out of the right. We're going to put top chevron right on that light. And then uh, not quite a half a disc or so worth of Anheuser. So about to there. We want to send it out to the right, but I don't want to get too crazy because obviously you start flirting with OB. Uh, but that's looking pretty good as long as it doesn't get tangled up in these trees too much. And got a putt. And then if it's out of the left, right in front of the basket, top chevron lined up with that light, just moved over a little bit. And with a two wind, we're going to give it just a touch of Anheuser. And it should clear that tree and come down and get slammed into this curb 68 feet so it could have sent it out to the right it would have been a little better shot but it's still safe so um, you know again uh, this is one you will need to practice if you want to use it like all new lines um, and the danger sending it out to the right is getting well O OB, of course, but also getting tangled up in the overhead electrical over there. Uh, and then you're going to drop either short or drop OB. So don't want to do that. So probably better to air a little left. But if you want to go half a disc, 
you can send it out there a little further and being on the flat part of this fairway is very nice because it uh, has a lot less tendency to stand up and roll which my previous approach using the glide roll rive uh, did that a lot but with the water skip it doesn't have that tendency to stand up and roll quite as much so 28 feet to the birdie very nice so that is going to be my new approach to downtown hole nine um, i'm liking it i hope you enjoyed it i uh, hope you learned something and we'll see you around the valley